look at our facility as a uh, very innovative facility. We're on the cutting edge of technology. Uh, we're one of the first municipal landfills in our country to use some of the technology that we've used, such as uh, the solar blanket for electricity, which covers our landfill. Uh, there has been other gas to energy projects around the country, but it's innovative to New York State, and uh, we're one of the first ones to use that in our area, the methane gas from the landfill uh, that turns uh, gas into electricity. We use the waste heat from the facility to heat our facilities, and uh, then the electricity we don't use goes on to the grid. In the older landfills, what we did was um, we actually dug wells vertically into the waste, and that's what you see here. These are vertical wells that are drilled down into the uh, garbage, and, um, and we draw the gas up through into a piping system that's all underground, just under the cap surface here and um, these are all in strategic locations throughout the site drilled into the waste it's all collected in one uh, collector pipe that brings the gas to the uh, gas to energy facility in the newer landfills like the west side uh, we have a different type of a collection system along with the, uh, some of these type of wells but the newer landfills as you're building the uh, cells up we put layers horizontally as you uh, layer the waste in the landfill. So as you're building your landfill, you're building layers of gas collection as you're going up. You don't wait till you fill the site up and then drill into the waste. So you're collecting gas that way. And then you'll pop some of these wells in strategic locations after the fact. But as you're putting waste in the landfill and building one layer after another, you're able to efficiently collect the gas with these horizontal uh, gas collection systems. So there's a combination of two types of systems over there, but uh, in the old landfills, you wait until you cap the landfill and then you tap into the landfills with these uh, vertical wells. Behind me is the west side landfill uh, that was opened in the 1990s. We have approval for over 100 years of landfill space on this site, so we have a long-term uh, landfill project here in Madison County. And we are collect currently collecting gas from the west side landfill and also on the east side of Bouillet Road, the old closed landfill, uh, we're collecting gas from. So there's two sources of gas for the gas to energy project, the west side landfill, the east side landfill. And um, both come into this building where we uh, collect it, process it, and it goes into the engine that uh, actually produces the electricity. About approximately one megawatt of power is what's generated with the gas that's collected from both landfill sites. My name is Kip Hicks. I'm the uh, executive director for the Madison County Industrial Development Agency for the Madison County Center for Economic Development, which is the uh, county's um, economic development arm. Um, I came here today to speak about the Ag and Renewable Energy Business Park, which is a cooperatively uh, developed vision for a business park that's focused on businesses that are uh, strategic for Madison County. It, it includes uh, value-added agriculture, renewable and green energy production, uh, and other types of businesses that uh, we're trying to support. Madison County has other shovel-ready business parks. Um, the R Park, it, we envision having uh, characteristics that will be attractive to both the agriculture and renewable energy sectors. The, uh, the power that's currently being created at the landfill gas to energy facility is being fed back into the grid, but as I, uh, as I mentioned, um, the county has the first right of refusal. There's uh, between 1.2 and 1.6 megawatts of electricity at full capacity that could be produced here. And obviously, our goal would be to use that uh, green energy uh, for businesses that are located at the park. Uh, for example, National Grid is send, selling electricity to customers between 12 and 14 cents a kilowatt. Uh, the power that's being produced here is being sold to National Grid for roughly six cents a kilowatt. It's our goal to find businesses that would be able to take that power, utilize it on site, and hopefully uh, get it for a rock bottom price somewhere close to six. I, th I think that that type of competitive advantage is going to uh, allow us to be successful in the development of this park.
This patch of grass behind us here is the future site for Johnson Brothers Lumber. Uh, they've chosen this site because of the close proximity to the to accessing the excess heat. Uh, will provide them with the I think 160, 170 degree constant heat that they need uh, to kiln dry the hard woods uh, to run it through their process. Just got a uh, another new grant from uh, Empire State Development, the regional councils. Uh, we won a grant for aquaculture, so we'll be doing uh, some fish uh, aquaculture up there, along with uh, green greenhouse, and uh, hopefully we're going to spur this into a uh, business park, which is our agriculture and renewable energy park. It's uh, and it's because of our people at the landfill is why we're on the cutting edge. Uh, our director, the folks that work for him, and you know, I hope that you ask what the future is. I hope that uh, our future is we continue to have innovative and uh, good working people at our landfill that uh, keep us out there in the forefront on uh, some of this technology and out in front of everybody, all the other municipalities in New York State. Uh, the Madison County Board of Supervisors and the Department of Solid Waste have spearheaded the initiative over the years to find solutions for the methane gases that are produced at the landfill. Uh, these gases are bad for the environment and they contribute to the depletion of the ozone layer, uh, a problem for everyone on the planet. Establishing the contract with Waste Management Renewable Energies Division uh, has allowed the county to partner in limiting the pollution of our environment, cre creating green energy, um, producing 1.2 megawatts of electricity at this time, uh, which is an amount, uh, which, which is also producing an equal amount of excess or waste heat from the combustion pro process. Having access to low-cost, on-site produced green energy, along with access to municipal water and sewer, uh, and also having two different New York State throughway exits just a few minutes to the north and relatively low-cost land for development, we hope to get the R Park into the hands of private businesses who will build new buildings, contribute to the tax base of this rural community, diversify the business base, and create jobs for the people of our community.